Number seven, we are going to solve simultaneous equations, one linear and one with degree two. So by eliminating x, find the solutions of the simultaneous equations. So we need to eliminate we need to eliminate x. It means that we need to to write x as as the subject of the equation, and we take everything else to the other side using the linear equation and then you replace the value of x which is this in the second equation so this is what we've done so we replace x by 1 plus 2y and you square it because it's x squared plus y squared which is equal to 13 expanding this perfect square it's 1 plus 4y plus 4y squared plus y squared which is this kept at the, as it is equal to 13. Now collecting like terms we have 5y squared because 1y squared and 4y squared is 5y squared plus 4y minus you take the 13 to the other side it becomes minus 13 and you, here you have plus 1 so it is minus 12 equals 0 so in this phase we have a quadratic equation where in order to solve for y and find its value we need to factorize so what are the two numbers that the two factors that when you multiply they give you five so they are one y and five y and what are the two numbers that when you multiply them they give you minus 12 and when you add them they give you plus four they are plus two and minus six plus two times minus six is minus 12 and when you add minus 6y plus 10y, the, the answer is going to be plus 4y, which is the middle answer here. Now, we factorized the equation. We need to solve for y. So y plus 2 equals 0 or... 5y minus 6 equals 0. So when y plus 2 equals 0, you're going to get y equals minus 2. Or when 5y minus 6 equals 0, you're going to have y equals 6 over 5. Now once we found y, we can replace y in the first equation, equation 1, and find x. Now equation 1, we wrote it in this manner. So we can directly replace x equals to 1 plus 2 times minus 2. So x is equal to minus 3. Let me take these out. And the other one, you have x plus 1. x equals. Let me continue here. So this is the first one. Or x equals 1 plus 2 times y which is 6 over 5 this is equal to 1 plus 12 over 5 common denominator is going to be 5 plus 12 over 5 which is equal to 17 over 5 this is an improper fraction writing it as a mixed uh, number 17 how many fives in it you have three fives and how many what's the remainder it's two over five now do you actually need to write the mixed number no you, you don't really have to unless they ask you so what are the values for uh, the points of intersection they are the first one x is minus three when y is minus two and then x is three uh, 17 over 5 when y is 
when y is 6 over 5. Now we have solved this problem using algebra, algebraically. Now I'm going to solve it also with you graphically. We said that when we want to graph x squared plus y squared equals 13, we have first to state what, what is the shape of this equation. Since we have x squared plus y squared equal to a number, therefore this is a circle of center O, orig the origin O, and the radius equals to square root of 13. So the radius of it is equal to square root 13. And square root 13, it's about 3.6. So 3 is, this is 1, 2, and this is 3.6. You put your needle on the origin, and then you draw a circle, and this is for the graph of the equation that has x squared plus y squared equals 13. We still need to graph x minus 2y equals 1. We need the t table. So when x is 0, we have y, the value for y is minus 1 over 2. And when y is 0, the value of x is 1. So this is the table of intercepts. So minus half for y is here. And uh, 1 for x is here. Joining these together and uh, points and elongating, you are going to get an intersection between the points, the points and an intersection between the circle and the line. And the point of intersection should have the same coordinates as the solution that you found algebraically. So here I have minus 3 for x and minus 2 for y. So it's the first one that we found. And here we have 3, 3, 2 over 5 for x and 17. Uh, and 6 over 5 for y, which is uh, approximately 1.2, which is there. So roughly, because I'm sketching, I'm not uh, taking uh, using the ruler. So roughly, the two points have the coordinates that we found algebraically. So by drawing the circle and the line, we found the points, the coordinates of the point of intersection. This is how we solved the system graphically. And by using algebra and finding the values for x and the values for y is the algebraic method for solving the system of equations.